Okay. Let's see. All right. So uh, on your Adobe screen, you, you notice you have this icon, more like uh, this arrow icon, right? Yeah. Hello? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, I'm with you. Right. So if you bring it close to this alphabet S, I don't know, it would have been so nice. Assuming you have two screens or try um, something with your phone, then you are doing it on your system. I don't know. But let's, let's see how it goes. Yeah. So if you, if you bring it close to this letter S, you see that the icon will change to a straight line. Yeah, let's change. Uh -huh. So now on your keyboard, press Alt and your left mouse together and tell me what happened to your Adobe Reader. What happened to left, that icon? Left mouse or left mouse? Your alt and your left mouse. Okay. Alt button and the left mouse. What happened? What do you have? Okay, yeah. I change. No, no, it's supposed not to change. It's supposed to see more like a dotted rectangle around yeah, that yeah, straight yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. while you are still yeah. pressing that, your alt and your left mouse, just use your other. Mm -hmm. uh, you are using your keyboard mouse, so use your keyboard mouse to drag down from that S down to that number 18. Then you notice that there's this one uh, blue, more like a light blue shape showing where you've copied, where you've highlighted. Should, no. I, do that? Should I do that again? Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay. So while you are still on your left mouse, maybe I should do it again. Let me do it again. So what we want to do now is we want to copy column by column so that it's easy for us to export this into our Excel file. You come to this, your X, you see that the icon will change. Then press mm -hmm. your alt and your left mouse. Then you see one dotted triangle will be built around it. Then just yeah. use your mouse to just drag down like that. Then you see one straight lighted blue highlighting where you've actually copied. Your keyboard mouse, use your keyboard mouse. Keyboard, keyboard, are you not using ThinkPad? ThinkPad. <laughs> Just, no, no, that's the normal dragging. You drag, we are not dragging. So you are not clicking on anything. You are just dragging down. No. So while you are on that S, right? Just click your alt and left mouse, that's all. Then just use your mouse as if you are controlling something and just use it like normal. Don't press the right, don't press anything just on that mouse as if you are moving around your screen. Then you see it will be highlighting it in blue for you. No. Okay. No, don't use external mouse. Use your keyboard uh, mouse. Yes. It's, uh, there's a lot of efficiency in using your keyboard mouse than external mouse. Um, are you are you are you are sure you are using Acrobat reader, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Maybe I should zoom. Let me zoom my screen out for you. So you can see my screen now, right? Look at my screen. Yes. Uh -huh. So you see that my icon change immediately. I come close to this S. Exactly. Uh -huh. Then on my keyboard, I'll just press my alt and left mouse together. And I will not, I will not release it. Okay. I will not release it. I'll just press two of them together like that. And I will just be moving my mouse as if I want to move around. So see, as I'm dragging it down, it will just be alighting it in blue. It's the normal way as if you are moving something. You are moving your mouse to sell, to go to, but make sure you are still, your hand, your both fingers are still on that alt and left mouse. And when you are done, just remove your hand 
from the uh, alt and left mouse. <laughs> okay okay uh maybe let me try and find out what what is happening then your wait your mouse is he on which of this icon mm. is he on the ant yeah, icon blue. or this uh other one this the other one triangle arrow right yes triangle. Uh, hey. then just bring it close to this s Oh, 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 sign, yeah. oh, sign. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just press your, down. just press your alt and left mouse. That's all. And just as if you are moving your mouse around. Put the gray box in your. Put the gray box Just highlight it down. Your normal, oh, as if, yeah, as you if you are using your, yeah. your normal mouse. No, don't right click yeah. it. Just make sure your hand, as your both fingers are still on that alt and left mouse. <laughs> oh, is it dark yeah, bow? Is it? All right, it's dark bow. No, it's still not working. No, 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 work. Ah, oh, yeah, could work. Oh, yeah, could work now. In cut of the muki, can you change? Got over the muki, uh, I can't change. Yeah, yeah, alt yeah. and left mouse. Yeah, how to work, right? How to work? Copy out the serial number. Yes, up to, to up, number. up to number 18. Yeah, how to copy the number. And then, then remove your hand and press Ctrl C. Um, yeah. So what were, what were you doing wrong before? Well, no, I'm just asking for that answer. Let's tag. Let's <laughs> tag, Basa. So just, so go to your exam. Yes, come on, eh? Come on, yes, and she has a number. Oh, yeah, I'm last one day. Eh, but don't, don't worry. Well, you can put the other one. Um, you can add that one to it. So just come to okay. your cell here, A1, and press your control V. Okay. So then you can now create space uh, in your own to include that SN. That's your number. Okay. Right, so go ahead, copy the second row, which we have the name. So make sure you are you start from that end, alt left mouse, then drag it down. Okay. Copy the name, go to your exam, second one. Just paste. Okay. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Do the do the same thing for the parents. I'm on me today, have you? I'm on me today. Okay, I'm on board. Uh-huh. I think you need to watch your wallet. Daddy, your, your dinner is ready. So, so go ahead and copy it. I'm going to watch your wallet, sir. Who is your name? I don't think so. Who am I? Who am I? Ah, oh no. Oh, 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 and adjust it, okay. everything. Wow, okay, Billy. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yes, often we daddy one class. Yes, often we daddy one class. One one training. I know. I know. Hello, John. I know. Ah, I like to see Billy. Windows are the windows are the hot. Hot, 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 and your left mouse. So who did Pabong Pariwo? So who did Pabong Pariwo? Did Pabong Pariwo? Yeah, did Pabong Pariwo? Pariwo. Yeah, I'm just copying now. Yeah, copy everything. But I'm not copying. Not copying. Not copying. Go away. You want the salary? I'm going to show you Kony Lon. Kony Lon. Yeah, Uma Skata. Uma Waskata. Ada jo, on pari wo si wale ti o. Ya kori ekpe o. So copy it. So you can only copy it uh, column by column. Column by one. Yeah. 
So you can you can now go and explore the remaining at least since you you've understood the whole thing. Let me see. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna go So just copy it one by one. But you know the Okay, okay. Allons -y. So let me know when you are done. I'm always on last one. Hold on, So you can have a small jotter where you can be writing those uh, short cuts because uh, we'll be learning yeah. a lot of short cuts, which will help you really help with uh, efficiency and getting work done faster. Alt left arrow. I'll be alt. Sorry. Alt left mouse. Left mouse. Then you just drag. But make sure the icon is on. Uh, the icon is changed uh, when you click on the stuff. Oh, yeah. You copy it now. Okay. So I have salary. Serial number, name, department, gender, monthly salary. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So if you look at that serial number, it's not the same format with yeah. what we have here. What do you have in your own? Currently now, you see my own is showing the 1.0, 2.0. What do you have in your own? Let me see your own. Yeah, I have one, two, three. Number one. Yeah, I'm number one. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let me do that. Let me change my answer. I'm number okay. one. Okay, great. So the other thing that we need, let's check. And if you go. Um, okay. All right. So now let's copy this uh, information that we need. This, this, this is more like what they ask us to get. Male employees, okay. so female employees, maximum salary, minimum salary, how many number of employees, uh, how many IT supports, how many uh, average salary of males, average salary of females. Then they said, include other insights and create a summary dashboard. So the same stuff, that, the same method, just bring your um, mouse icon close to this okay. M, let it change to straight line, press your alt left mouse and highlight my, everything. Include summary dashboard. My, my, my copy include summary dashboard, you know? No, 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 leave that one, leave that one. Konile, it will not be able to copy everything. So don't copy this dotted line. Don't copy this, uh, the uh, asterisk. So just copy from the male M up to the average salary of females. Press Control C, go to your Excel, just come down and paste it. Okay. You the salary? Yeah, yes, paste it down. All right, done. Okay, great. So let's take a look at the data. Let's take a look at the data. Uh, we have a serial number, name, department, gender, uh, monthly salary. Okay, so uh, can you, what version? You are using Excel 365, right? Uh, yes, I think so. Maybe it's office, uh, office, uh, you are using yeah, office now. Yeah. All right, office, that should be office 365. Okay. So one thing we need to do, uh, we have this, our name. So on, on this C, we want to add one column here so that we can have first name. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. And so here, you know, we have our serial name, which is more like our headings. We have name, we have departments. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do now is we want to add uh, a name. So that we can have more like first name then second name okay. you get that uh, so to do that we want to create a we need to create a column here so to okay. do that we are going to use shortcuts bring your mouse okay. close to bring your mouse to this column c okay then you see that you change okay. the icon yeah to so down arrow then 
click on that, uh, click on that C. So that C we highlight the O column. Yes. Then on your keyboard, press your Control Shift Plus. Plus. Control Shift Plus. Ah, I me a Oh yeah. So control shift together, then press your plus. That is to yeah, insert yeah. to insert column. So you can write okay. the you can write the shortcuts down. Yeah, to insert exactly. column. So uh, so instead of you clicking right click and be going to yeah, insert, exactly. so you've waste some kind of seconds. So I like it like this. Press your control plus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Control minus. So to remove the space back. All right. Yeah. So to add, just click on this. Minus, I mean. uh, yes, to remove just it. Just minus. Yes, to remove a minus. column. So as we want to delete this department, the way we highlighted it, we just press your Control minus or my delete. Okay. Mm. But what we want now is okay. we want to add a column. Control Shift plus. All right. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, this name, let's change it. Let's change this one to first name. First name. Then the sec this new space, let's, uh, let's make it last name. Okay. Have you done that? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes. Okay. So let's just, let's feed them with um, some funny, funny names. Let's start with Wally, uh, Bruce Wally, Jacob. Okay, what happened? Jacob Victor. Oh. Hey, no, Jerry. It's my Zoom stuff. Uh, Jacob Wally, uh, Jacob Vic. Okay, okay. I think I know what's happening. <laughs> Jacob Victor, uh, maybe oh. Dolamu. Then Abbey. Abbey. For resolution. Resolution. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't let's waste much time. Let's, let's just put Wally uh, for all their names as the last name. Okay. So that we'll save ourselves time. So, so to do that, just type Wally in. So you can delete other names we've written, Sha. Abi. Yeah, I've And so yeah, just click on this Wally. You see, come to this. Uh, let me zoom this out for you to see. So you see that there's one small icon here. Yes. Right. This shape. Yeah. Uh -huh. So just bring your mouse close to it and double tap that uh, that small square icon. Okay. So you copy okay. everything down. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. yeah. So now for you to see, uh, Excel is so smart. Now create another column. So to create that column, you don't need to go to this D every time. You can just come to any of the cells in this column and just press your control space okay, it will highlight all the rows. Control space. Control space. It will highlight all the rows. Space bar. Baby. Yes, space bar. Yeah, okay, I like that. Uh -huh. Then press your control shift plus to create another column. Okay. Yeah. And then put this as the full name. Put it as full name. Okay. Great. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Control, so, okay. Control Shift Plus Control to create space. Back. Okay, and to highlight all the rows, any column you are from any cell, just press your Control Shift to highlight all the rows, all the columns. Sorry. No, from the space bar. The yes. To so highlight all the columns okay. at once. Okay. Mm. So because we are using Office three six five, you know normally. Okay, let's even type it. So let's type their name together. Uh, Bruce Wally, enter. Bruce, please, I mean. Put space. Bruce, eh? 
uh, normal name, as if you want to write normal name. Okay. Have you done that? Now go ahead and type the second one, Jacob. Jacob Wally. Type enter. Okay. Then press Control E on your laptop and tell me what you have. Control. Yeah. What does the Control E mean? So Control E. So, uh, yeah. click on this Jacob Wally. So you can undo it. Undo it. Control Z. Okay. So Excel is actually an artificial uh, artificial intelligence tool. And secondly, because you are using Office 365. So if you go to your data tab, you know, we have home tab. Yeah, data, yes. And so if you go to your data tab, yeah. right, under data. Mm -hmm. So under each tab, there's always another sub tab. So here now, this is more like get and transform data, queries and connections, data type, sort and filter. Then you can see these yeah. data tools. So on that data tools, there's something we call flash fill. Okay. So if you click on that, just uh, over your mouse on it. You see now flash fill control E, which means automatically filling yeah. value. So enter a couple of example you want as an output and keep the active cell in the column you want to fill. So that's what we just did. So because what we want to do yes, mm -hmm. we've done one example, we've done another example. We are telling Excel that you know what, example. any name here, put a space and merge it together with the name we have here. So that's what control E we do. We automatically fill it out for you. All right. Sir. No. So you, you see, you see the, the time you've saved instead of doing that one yeah, by one. Uh -huh. All right, great. So here we have a monthly salary. Yeah. And so let's convert this to let's convert this to uh yearly. What do you think? Okay, that's fine. Okay. So so let's put yearly yearly salary here. Okay. So uh most times when we are building uh when you are working with Excel. Right. I know what you would have done is type equal to this, yes, then exactly. multiply by 12, and right? 12, yes. uh -huh. So uh this 12. Okay, okay, let's let's even let's leave that for now. We'll come back to it. So uh do that when you do it for once, come close to the edge of this uh cell and double tap it. Okay, done. Good. Okay. So, so, me any work, you know. <laughs> and try it. So let's try it. So let's try it. Okay. So control E. So control E. So so because this is a formula, and secondly, it was hard coded. We have uh, we have hard coded value, which is this twelve. Okay. So it will not work. It does not work with the formula. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Oh, let's see. Let me type 12 here and let's see if that will even work. Well, I doubt it. I'm not sure it does not usually work with formulas. So equal to this multiply by let's keep this constant. So it does not work with for it does not work with formula. Okay. Hmm. So now next thing we What's need to do. Yeah. Oh, thanks, thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you. So, the next thing, which is our more like our output, yeah. So, uh, let me even cut it and uh, let me bring it close to this side. So, let's take it one after the other. Let me paste it here, okay? Let me cut my output. Mm. Good. Okay. So uh, the first thing we need is number of male employees. 
Okay. That's the first thing. So, do you know what formula can we use to get that? We need to count, we need to count number of male employees from the gender. Okay. Okay. I don't know. So whenever you need any formula, just think about what you want to do. Hmm? Okay. So now what you want to do is want to know the number of employees. So you look for different different uh, terms that can really describe what you want to do. Okay. Right. So if you go to this your your formula bar, you can see this insert functions. Mm -hmm. So if you click on the instance function, it will open up this box for you. Okay. Then here, we said we want to count, right? That's what we want to do. We want to count yeah. number. So I will just type count here. And click on go. Then Excel will give me different Excel function that can do that kind of thing. Okay. Right, so you can see count A. You can also see the description. Count the number of cells in a range that contains number. Number count. If you click on count A, count the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So go through it and, and tell me the one you think we, we can use to get this our objective. Okay. So just click on them, read what they are saying, and tell me the one you think we need to use. Okay, count E. Count E, exactly. So, so you can just, so those, those are the things that you can use to uh, kind of get the formula you want. Almost everything can be done in Excel, you get. Okay. So we'll come here, yeah. type your equal to. Okay. Equal to, then type count. Immediately you type count. Excel will list out those uh, no different no. counts ahead. So just, uh, scroll down and select the count if click on the count if and press your tab okay. button to open up the formula okay yeah uh -huh. so every formula has their syntax and when they say syntax basically what you need for them to work so first one is telling us range you get the first one is telling us range and comma then you can see criteria yeah. So what do you think will be our range? Taking a look at this, our data. Uh, what is it called now? Gender. Exactly. So what will be our criteria? Criteria will be male. Exactly. So let's make it dynamic. So when you are building, when you are working in Excel, you think about working, how to work very, very smart. So let's, okay. let's come here and let's type male here. Okay. Type male. So we can put this more like... Uh, Outputs. Let's type this. Our is okay. Uh, okay. Let's call this. Uh, what can we call this? Uh, expected. Are we okay? Insights. Insights data. And here, okay. let's call it our unique. Unique. Let's just call it unique. Then here, let's call it our outputs. Outputs. Right. right, so here we need our male, then here we need female. So this one, maximum, maximum. Uh, that one, don't worry, that one is a normal formula. Here, IT support. So we can just do the IT support. So leave the rest. We, we treat them one by one. All right. We good? Yes, sir. Okay. So come here, type your count. Go to your count if and press your tab button to open up the formula syntax. Tab. Tab, okay. yes. Count if. Okay. Then our range is where we have this our gender. So just highlight from male down to so much like from your number one down to your number 18. Okay. All the data there. Yeah. 
Then put a comma. Okay. What is our criteria? Mail. So where do we get that? The unique. Okay, exactly. So you can decide to type it as well, but we are just trying to make it uh, unique. So if you want to type okay. it, since it's a text, you need to open up a quote, type the mail, and you close the quote. You get so assuming you want to type it inside the formula. So you open up a quote. So whenever you are typing any text in any formula, you need to open up a quote so that it turns turn the text back to a strings. All right. Yeah. So since we just click on this and then close your bracket and press okay, enter. Now. So close okay. the bracket and press enter. Okay. So I uh, yes. So I have the same thing, which is correct. Right. So the second okay. one is a female. So go ahead and do the one for female and tell me your number. Okay. So you're using the same formula to count the female. Yeah. So what do you have? Yes, I'll just hold on and give it a name. Okay, eight. Eight, okay, great. So let me do, let me do my home. So equal to... So equal to counts, equal to counts if, okay. Counts if, then what is the range? This is my range, comma, there's my criteria, enter, great. So now the next one is want to know the maximum salary that we are paying, right? So uh, let's make this more like a month. So, uh, yes, months, then months. Okay. So, can you try and, as it's using the same techniques we use for the first one. So, check the formula we can use for maximum and minimum. What is the okay. keyword there? And tell me the formula. Okay, I have maths here. You have maths, exactly. Yes. Exactly. So now come back uh, to this. Yeah? It's not the largest value in the set of data and ignore it. Perfect, perfect. Like perfect, 100% correct. So just come back to the cell. Okay. Type your equal to max. Okay. Press your tab. Max, max, max. Yes, exactly. So max, max, uh, max is the max. So we need max. So uh, so if it's month, so you just select all the all our rows that contain the salary. Close the brackets okay. and press enter. That's all. You have your maximum salary. Exactly. So go ahead. The one for minimum. We also have just type your equal to mean. So we have formula for mean. mean so mean A, mean E, mean. Um, uh -huh. So you just type your tap, then select the our month row and press your close the brackets and press enter. 1, Perfect. So check the data. Yeah. Is it is it correct? Just look through the data. Is that the maximum? Is that the minimum? Oh, okay. 
9,200. Yes. Okay, perfect. perfect. So, yeah, so now, how many number of employees? So which means we need to count their name. Yeah. The other one, we can't based on unique, but this one we need to count their name. So type equal to count. Now let's take a look at this, the option of count. So we have to count, it will be the first count. So count the number of cell in a range that contains number. Okay, let's take the second one. Count the number of cell in a range that are not empty. Yes, yeah, so the first one counts and only count number. number. Remember, we want to count, count their numbers. names. Count the number of the cells in the area. The second one, count the number of cells. Okay. Yes. So for this okay. first one, it counts only number, it counts values. Yeah. So it does not count text. And remember, what okay. you want to count is their yeah. names. So, which means we are using yeah, the second one. So, it's kind of number of cell in a range that are not empty. So, select the second one, press your tab button, and just alight their uh, full name. Let's alight their full name. Close your brackets mm -hmm. and press enter. It okay, perfect. So the second one, we go ahead, IT. Count the number of IT support. So you know how to do that? You use your count if. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Exactly, the one we use for the first one. Zero. I support zero. I like. That yeah, because you have IT and support together. Exactly. We have IT, then we have support. Perfect. So what we do is you change it back to let's delete the support. You, okay. you, you, you got it. So let's get IT guys only. We don't need we don't need the support guys. Okay. But okay. Okay, okay, uh, let's, let's count IT guys. We got to count if. What do you have? Coming down the minute. Again. So can't this is the range, comma, and select this our IT. Mm -hmm. I have four. Oh. Where am I getting there? Are you sure you've changed it to IT? This is our unique yeah. IT. Make sure you are selecting the department's range. Yeah, four, four, four. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Now the set. We should get the average salary for meals. So okay. let's put this, let's make it monthly as well. Monthly only. For the female as well, monthly. So what formula do you think you can use to get this? Well, I think uh, it's not just one, because we have average, we use so average. Average salary of yes. males. Yes. So formula do you think we can use? So there'll be average one. Okay. We need to find the average. Then we need to find male separate. Okay. So we now have a function in Excel called average if. Okay. So which means it's saying, oh, average salary if they are only males. Yeah. So you just type your equal to average. So even type your average, you see 
all those options of average that you have in average Excel. Is, average, uh -huh. average A, average ifs, average ifs. So we need our average if. So you want to check okay. only one condition. So if you have multiple conditions you want to check like that, you can use the average ifs. So press your tab for the average if. Okay. So what is that? So you can okay. see those syntax. It's asking for the range, which is mm, the data yes. we want to look at. The criteria, yeah, like the criteria is what we want to examine and our average salary is the column that has the data for salary. So salary. our range will be what? Monthly salary. No, no, no. So our range should always go with the criteria. Okay. So range is what is where we have those criteria that we want to examine. So that is our gender. Gender, comma, Just hold on. Gender, okay. So I like the gender. So our criteria, just open the code since we did not put the stuff in the unique and type your mails. Is it male or mails? Let's see. Okay, male. So the name was match. Then close the uh, the quotes. Okay. Then type your comma. So what is the okay. average range, which is more like where we want to the result, the output that we want. So which is our salary. monthly salary. Yes. So I just I I like my monthly salary. Close the bracket and press enter. Five thousand eight fifty. Eight fifty. Perfect. So, uh, do the same thing for this second one. Okay. So equal to mm -hmm. average if mm -hmm. our range is where we have the names of the gender. Mm -hmm. Gender. Comma, and our criteria. Just open a quote. Type female. Mm -hmm. Close the quotes. Put a mm -hmm. comma. Then highlight where we have mm -hmm. the monthly salary. Close the brackets and press your enter. Perfect. So, so what other insights can we get? Let's take a look at this. What other insights can we get? Okay, so, so uh, please give me one second. Let me check. What's the moon already? Well, you know, you need to look in the vehicle bar. Okay. Uh, uh, just one minute. Okay. All right, no All right.
Uh, sorry, man. At the at day. Hello. Yeah, morning. Okay, so uh, let's look at another thing we can also bring into this. Uh, let's get their total salary. Uh, let's get okay. the yearly one. The yearly salary. Okay. okay. So let's just do the calculation. That one is normal summation equal to sum. Then let's sum the total um, yearly salary. And let's see what we have. So do you have the total salary? Yeah, 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, perfect. So the next thing is, now let's take a look at their uh, salary percentage to the total salary. Okay. Right, so to do that, tap our equal to, individual salary okay. divided by the total salary. Okay. Now, what do you think we need to do next? Press enter. Okay, uh, just let's press enter. Then let's put that in percentage. So to put it in percentage, just press your control shift five. Five, yes, so it will put it in percentage format. Then we can add, let's put one decimal point to it. So just put one decimal point. Yeah, just put one decimal point. Go to your home tab, you see number, okay. this, this one. These two guys. Click on this. Okay. So, so and no, it's it's for we uh it's for we trainer. <laughs> Our trainer Lamalu. It's called it's, it's called Zoom. Then, it's, hmm? What I got more get is yeah. zero point two percent. So you are using the yearly salary divided by okay. the total salary that calculates. So not you are not using the monthly one, use the yearly one so that the okay. percentage can make sense. All right, great. Okay. So now, you know, the normal thing is we're supposed to just double click this and everything will work fine. But we need this to also be divided by this, our total. So which means yes. if we double tap this, see what happened. Okay. So why do you think we are having this? It has missed, it has moved. So from exactly. that one point. Four to another one cell. To the next line. Exactly. Yeah. So what we want to do now is we want to, we don't want this to move. So we want all these values okay. to be looking at this. So which means we need to lock this cell. Yeah. And that's what we call cell referencing. Do you know about cell referencing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So so just just press F4 once on your keyboard, which is more like uh, uh absolute referencing. Reference. So we have uh, four types of referencing. So the first one is what we call relative referencing. So there's nothing like dollar something, dollar, dollar. Triggered. So if I press my F4 once, this is what we call our 
This is what we call our, abs our, our absolute referencing. And so press, you might need to press Fn on your keyboard before you press F4. You're also using ThinkPad, mm -hmm. yes. You need to press Fn before you press right, the F4. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. So just enter. Then this time we can just double click it and everything is looking at this, our variable. So you can see that, you can see it. Yeah, great. So let's put it a uh, percent of total salary. Percentage of our total salary. Let me remove the percentage. Percent of our total salary. Okay. So we good? Yeah. Now, uh, most times when we are working with our, in our Excel, so us to have, there are always three worksheets that are very important. Number one, we, should, we always have our data worksheets. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Let me do this. So we always have our uh, data. Okay, so let me let me bring it down. Yeah, so that everything is you can see everything because I'm typing it. Let me bring it down here. Okay, so so we have our data worksheets. Then we also have our control. We have our control, control worksheets. And then we now have our output worksheets. So you, get, so you have your data, we have more like your raw data, then we have the control. So we are more like where you do all your magic. And then you have your output, which is more like your results. Now let's take a look at it one by one. So you can see now that almost everything we did, we did it inside this, inside one worksheet, right? And remember they said we should also try and provide something like a small dashboard. So which means all these are our outputs here, these are our results. I'll copy this and I'll go to another worksheet. So here, let me, let me paste it as normal, just press my control V. Okay. Another worksheet. So you can even rename yeah. the worksheets more like outputs. Okay, let's call this one control. Control. Then this one, we call it our data. So we want more for us, right? Uh, yes, but don't worry, we'll come to that. Let's take it one by one. So these are our okay. formulas. We can, let's copy, let's see. Let's press Control X. Control, cut it, and let's come here and let's paste it. Let's see, to our shisha. Does it work? Mm -hmm. Just press Control yeah. X and paste it here. Yeah. So now, this thing. Yes. I want to format it such that it shows something like this: ten males employees. Okay. Ten male employees. Do you know how to do that? No. Okay. 
So uh, one thing you need to know is this in Excel, uh, there's something we call formatting. So formatting okay. does not change what is in a cell. It only okay. changes what you see. Okay. Right. So which means what you see might not really not be what is inside that cell. So it's formatting. Okay. Now we've put our data here, our formulas and 10. And I want to, I want Excel to always show it, irrespective of the number of me. You should give me the number and always add this as a text to it. To do that, I would click on this thing, press my control one. Okay. Control one. Control one. So open up your formatting. format, formatting of yourself, formatting of yourself. So it will bring you down straight to your, what do you have in your own? Under those categories. Uh, general. Under general, right? General, yes. Okay, yes. Now, click on, so you have different formatting, number, currency, accounting, date, time, percentage, fraction, yes, percentage scientific, fraction, text, text, special, then go straight to your custom. Okay. So under your custom, you see that your general is being selected. Yes. Okay. So click on the one that has zero. Zero where? So you have general. So below that general. Okay, so yeah, you can see the, more yeah. like these are more like your uh, customized yeah. different formats. So you can okay. also create your own format. So if you click on that zero, then this type. Where you see the zero, yes, just right. click inside the box. Yes. Okay. Yes. Click inside the box. So it's as if you want to type a text inside the formula. And you know, you must always change the text to string. So open a quote and type male employees and close the quotes. Okay. So now, as you see, as you are typing it, you see a sample of, of what will be yeah, displayed in yeah. the cell. There's no space here. Uh -huh. So put just, just add that space to it. Add the space okay. yeah. before you, uh, so after you put that quote, add the space before the mail. So after the quote. The so after the quote, mail. open the space, put that space, then type, then let's have the mail. So you see the way it will appear in that sample. Okay, yeah, yeah. You have that? Then yes. click on your OK. OK. OK, yeah. So you can see what you have. 10 mils. 10 mils, exactly. So 10 mil employees. Okay. Remember, we really did not type that. So yeah. that's what formatting can do. So for you to know what is really inside that cell, right? Uh, your, that your FN. Press it, then press your F2 and press your F9. Fn, F2, F9. Yes. 10. Exactly. So whenever you want to audit any uh, result of your formula, so that's what you can use to see the results. So press your escape button. So you can okay. see that the normal thing is 10. Normal. It's because we formatted it. That's why it's showing these male employees. So go ahead and do the same thing for your female. Click on that okay. it. Press your control one. Now, to control one, go to your custom. Custom. Yes. So because we've created, wait, we've created one example before. Okay. Right. So if you scroll down, scroll down to the last uh, custom list that you have, you see that's one that we created. Yeah, zero mil. Uh, so mil. click. Uh, so just click on it. And go back to that okay. your type of box and, FE. and just write FE exactly to make it female and click on your OK. Okay. You have that?
Do you have it? Hello, Ali. Hello, sorry, network. Hello. Okay, okay. So, do you have that? Yes, it's employee, it's new employees. Okay, so now, so you just know how to format. Now, let's talk about the one for numbers. Okay. So this uh this is one million and a uh, one point two one million. I want it to show as something like this. Let's say one point that should be one point one million, like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, get. Uh, so yeah. uh, number formatting is a little bit different. Okay. So for numbers, we have what we call our syntax. So in Excel, majorly, uh, majorly there's there are three data that you can type in Excel, three or four. So the first one is number. So you can type a negative number. Okay, so the first one is positive numbers. The second one is negative numbers. And the third one is what? It's, you can type zero. So you can type zero, zero values and also text. You can see those syntax. So four things you can type in any cell in Excel. So if you type one, let's say, here yeah, I type my one. That means, uh, sorry, my own Excel. Let me just remove that. So if you type positive here, you, put, you need to put a semicolon. You type the second one, which will be minus, let's say minus 12. You put a semicolon as well. So don't worry, my own is formatted to so have a bracket. Let me see. Can I convert it back? Okay. So minus 12, I put another semicolon. Then value that are zero, let me put that in normal zero. Okay, I'm gonna format it. Then I put another semicolon. Then I can now have my text. Here you get. Yeah. So these are the these are the syntax. So which means if I want to create a syntax, which means that we have my 12, which is positive, semicolon, my negative, minus 12, semicolon, value that are zero, zero. Then my semicolon, my text can always be the way they are. So that's what we call syntax. Now let's use that to sort this our to convert this 1.1 into something like this. So Press your control one again. Yeah. Go to your custom. Yeah. So let me zoom this. Yeah. Up. Okay. So you got you have some uh, custom that they've actually created before, but just just delete it, make it blank. Okay. Delete blank. anything. Uh -huh. So you can see the way we have the format now. It's just no matter one, yeah. one, one, two, four, nothing, nothing. So we say the first one, yeah. which is positive. Okay. Right, so, so you can see all these ash, ash, all those zero, zeros. So don't worry, we we'll take it one by one. So let's press our zero, comma, okay, zero. comma, mm -hmm. one, two, three. Three zeros. Okay. Yes, okay. three zeros. In fact, if you want to put a decimal, it puts point zero. Okay. So any value we put in a cell, this is these are more like the format they will show. The first value, okay. comma, then irrespective of the thousand we put, and if you want to add a decimal, we put one. Okay. Right. In fact, instead of three, you can even make it one. Zero, comma, then zero, more like the other variable you put in the egg. In your cell, then okay. put your semicolon. Semicolon after the second zero or third zero. 
after your after the point zero. Okay. Yeah. So if you want it to be a two decimal, you add you can add another zero. So as you are doing it, you see the value will be changing up here as well. But let's work with one decimal. Okay. So for the negative value, whenever it's negative, it's zero to so minus. Or so okay. Should we use whenever it is negative? Should it should it be in negative or brackets? Which one do you prefer? Uh, bracket. Okay, so just op open your brackets. Type the same thing we type in that our positive value, zero comma zero point zero. So zero comma zero point zero. Then close the brackets. Close bracket. Yes. Then yeah. another yeah. semicolon. So whenever any value in your uh -huh. cell is, what is semicolon for? so the first one, the first one is for positive value. Okay. The second one is for negative value. I hope you put semicolon before you yeah, type the the this, bracket. At the end of each value, we put semicolon. Yes, yes. So the first one we uh we, we stated is for positive values. So whenever we type zero, any comma, value in that zero, point zero, zero, then you put that semicolon. Yes. So which means those are for positive values. Then the second one, open your brackets, zero comma zero point zero. Then you put that semicolon, which means those are for any values that are negative. Zero, they should be in that format. Comma, zero point zero. Close bracket. Semicolon. Okay, semicolon, yes. So for any value that are zero, we just want it to always be in dash. Okay. We just make it dash. So text should always be the way they are being typed. And click on your OK. Click your OK. All right. Right. So where we have this one. Uh, one, one, two, four. Type zero and see what format it will bring out for you. Just type zero there. Okay, that's exactly. So press Control Z. So type minus twelve and see what will happen. Okay, in bracket. Exactly. So now just press your Control Z and let's have the value we have there before. Okay. The formula now. For that, our negative, most time you can want your negative to be in red. Okay. Be in that bracket and also be in red. Okay. So to do that, you come to that syntax of red, which is more like our brackets, where our bracket started. And one thing you notice that it seems Excel has changed that to your format. Do you have the same thing yes, here? Yes. It has changed it back yes. to ash. Ash, yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's still the same thing. It's still the same thing, but he used that language of ash for his own. It's still the same thing. So now that our okay. negative that we put in brackets. Yes. Come in front of that bracket before the bracket. Put your icon there. Yeah, you right. On your keyboard, uh, the next key that you have after P. Next key after P. Yes, which is more like this okay. box bracket. Yes, yes. And open it now. Type red R E A D. R E D. A D. Doesn't matter if it's capital letter or small letter. Make the first one capital letter. R capital letter. Okay. Then E and D lower cap. Okay. Good. Then close <clears throat> close the brackets with the second one. Okay. So which means whenever it is negative, it will be in red and also in brackets. That's what we okay. specify for yeah. our Excel and press OK. Then go back there and type your minus 12 inside that cell and see what will happen. All right, let's go. OK, perfect. So now, Very remember that's, that's not our objective. This is what we want. We want it to be in yeah. this format. So press your Control 1 back. Let's go back. All right, yeah. Uh -huh. Then let's go back to the positive. Okay. Positive value. So before that, dot zero. Okay. Yeah. Right. So you can see automatically it's always set to thousand. Ash zero zero. So it's more yeah. like three zero. So we want it to give us in millions. So press your comma and see what happens. So before your 
dot zero. Put a comma. What can you see from the sample? Yeah, one 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 point four. Exactly. So that's more one, like one one point four. Uh -huh. So hundreds. Then put another comma. Okay, zero point one. Zero point one. Okay. Zero so, one point one. Yes. Okay. Is that what we want? That's not what we want. So let's delete no, one. So, have you deleted it? Yes, I have. Okay. So those three, uh, two zeros after the hash. Yes. Delete them. Okay, one, two, yeah. I still have the comma there. Yes, yeah, still leave the comma Then Put another second comma and tell me what you have. I have 1.1. Exactly. So let's assume you even want it to be like something like 1.12 or 1 point something. So after that dot, you can put another zero. Okay. So after the dot, so it's uh, more like 1. A 1. 1. Exactly. Now we also want it to have millions in front, right? So yeah. after the second zero, just open a quote, type your M yeah. and close the quote. M or million? M, yes, M, lower, lower cap. Okay. Open the close, close it, and you see the sample of the results. Yeah, 1.1 million, yeah. Exactly, so everything we are doing now is only for positive values. In fact, if you want to add, value, then, yes. if you want to add the currency or any, maybe dollar, so you can just press, uh, the, in front of that first arch, uh, the first arch, yes. just press your dollar yes. in front of it. Okay. And you see, it will show dollar, 1.11 yeah, yeah, yeah. right so great so just click on your yeah. okay and we have the same thing we good yes. yeah we're good. yeah so format does not change what is in a cell it only changes what you see yeah so that's what we we have here So the next thing is now let's format, let's try and format our data so that everything kind of look good. Uh, let me delete this out. So most times when I'm building my stuff, I don't usually like this grid line. So you can okay. remove the grid line, go to your view. So under your view, you see this show. So you just click on click the grid line. So view, then you have your sheets view, workbook view, yeah, sure. show, the other show, just select grid line on ticket. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you want, to, you want to add the formula bar, you can also do the same thing. Okay. Mm. So this our headings. Right? Uh, I can just yeah. select some color. Let me just make it look good. More something like ash and more like white. So at least everything kind of look good. Ash. You just select ash color and white. Nothing special. All right, this stuff. Just to make it look good. So now let's do some, a little bit of conditional formatting mm -hmm. before we go ahead and do our dashboard and stuff like that. So here, we want to see, we want to highlight uh, the person with the highest percentage salary. Okay. So, uh, before we do that, okay, yes, let's let's get the let's get the name. So, uh, let's get the name of uh, the highest, the highest paid, highest paid uh, salary, uh, highest paid, uh, highest paid person. Then the lowest, lowest paid uh, person. Okay, get that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so do you know, do, is there any formula you think we can use to get this? Want to get their name? Want to get their name? Yeah. The person that is collecting the highest salary and the lowest. So remember, we already have the maximum salary and the monthly salary here. Do you know if, of any formula? No. Okay. I think, can we use if function? Okay. Can we use that? I'm not how sure of that. How do you think that can work? So if you're using if, so if cannot work. So there's a formula we call uh, index. Okay. So index, what index does is it returns a value or reference of the cell at the interception of a particular row column in a given range. That's that that story is even too much, Seth. So just type your index. Okay. Hmm. Will index work? No, I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, let's use lookup. So we want you to look at this value. Right, mm -hmm. look for it in this in this our monthly stuff and return the name for us. Okay, okay, great, great. Right, so let's try that. Equal to look, let's just type your lookup. Look up the value from either one row or column range from an array. So look up, press your tab. What do you want to look at? Nine, 9200. Exactly. So click on the 9,200, put a comma. Our lookup vector, which is more like where we want to search for this 92. Yeah, monthly salary. So come here, then I'll select my monthly salary, put a comma. Then which results do we want? The full name. We want the full name then. I will just highlight the full name, close the brackets and press my enter. Yeah, the Diawali. Okay, so let's check, let's check. Is that correct? Uh, where's Lydia, 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 Lydia Wali? Lydia Wali, it's not correct though. Mm. It's, it's supposed to be Melvin Wali. Melvin Wali, yeah. What happened? Why is, it Why is it giving us this? So uh, that's one of the problem this uh, guy, this lookup function has at times. <laughs> you actually act so, so funny. Because I don't know, look for this in this our stuff and just ask for that something. Uh, let me see, let's see another way. Let's say another one we can use. What about, what about value lookup? You said? What about V lookup? V lookup. So something about V lookup. V lookup can only look to your right. Okay. V lookup can only look to your right. So V lookup, assuming we have our name like this, the name is around these columns. So V lookup does not look okay. backwards. Okay. Okay, okay guys. So the other one, let's check equal to index. So type index, okay. our array. Let's select our full name. So for index, it we ask for our array, it asks for row number and also column number. Okay. So type comma. Comma, okay. Now, remember, we want to be sure, want to match this nine two. We want to match it mm -hmm. with the name. So that's the next thing. You yes. now type your match. Wait, in fact, I think match is supposed to be able to even do this. Okay, so uh, I, I don't want to take you too advanced yet. Let's start, let's, so okay. just escape, press escape, equal to, let's use yes. match. Wow. Yes, match. Okay. Oh. 
Tumash Chesha will match work. So this is our lookup value. Comma. Yeah. Lookup array. Mm. So what match does is match returns the number. number. So let me yes, yes it will highlight the number that contain the to so to return the number that contain the cell. I think something is up. It's also returning number eighteen. Yeah, it's returning eighteen. Ah, change it Nine two. What's 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 happening? This is the highest value there now. So I did returning. Maybe the come out of the two numbers are different. Ah, I'm not sure. Everything is there is in their normal value. Okay, wait. Let's look. Let's use the other formula. Equal to. I'm coming. Let me try it first. Let me work on it. Index. Let's match this, this value here, match it together with what we have here. Then give me the exact match. Press enter. Marvin Wally. Okay, okay. I think I know what happened. No. Yeah, so we did not complete the formula. So match. This 92, comma, then look for it in this. Let me put another comma. Then it should give us the exact match. Close the bracket and press enter. So, which is not like the third person. One, two, three. So, you get okay. Right. So, yeah. that's what match does. So, now let's go back to our formula. Okay. Equal to index. Important. Index. Yes. So uh, index is one powerful tool in Excel. Index and match. Even though we have X lookup. Do you have X lookup on your system? Yeah, I saw it. Type E X. You have X lookup. Yeah. Ah, so, okay. That's better. So X lookup is way advanced than uh, index and match, D lookup, H lookup. So let's use that since you have it. But something about X lookup is if you are building. If you are working for your clients, uh, most of them are not using Office 365. So they might not have that formula. Oh, okay. So that you don't use it to build, do something in your Excel, you send it to your clients. It will just give them uh, a value error. Oh, okay. Yeah, so so whenever we, most time when we are working for a client, we ask them, what version of Excel are you using? So let's use the index. Yes, index is still common. Okay. So index. The array is where we have our names. Comma. So we need the row that has the highest number. So to be able to determine that, right? Are you with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need the row that have the highest number. So to determine that, we now we match, we use that match function. So this this you combining two functions together, right? Mm -hmm. Return that number for us automatically. So match. What are we looking at? Come to my control. I want to look for this nine two. Okay. In what comma? In our mm -hmm. monthly salary. Okay. Then comma. Then put zero, and close the brackets. Comma zero. Close the bracket. Yes. Yes. So in, a, in any formula, any formula you are writing and you see any value in this square bracket like this. Okay. It's not in front of Don't don't present that yet now. Wait, wait, wait. Calm down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So let me do that okay. again. So equal to index we want we need what we need is our full name then yeah. comma the next question is asking for which row number is it to look for is yeah. it looking for those data then that's why we are using our match oh. match should look for what you should look for this nine two here nine two. comma 
in what? You should look for it in our monthly salary. And what is and put a comma? What is the match type? Mm. You should give us exact match. Exactly. I'll close the brackets. Okay. So remember, we started with index. This is just to give us our rule number. So whenever you see any formula in Excel that has this square bracket, so you see that column number is currently inside a square bracket. So which yes. means either you put anything there or you don't put anything there, the formula will still work. Okay. So let me close the brackets and press my enter. Okay, make it. Exactly. So now, so we don't want to repeat uh, all this process again. Let's work smart. I'll mm -hmm. come back to my formula. This is my data where I have that the uh, D2 to D19. I'll just click mm -hmm. my F4 to lock it. Keep it constant. Data G12 to G19, press my F4 to lock both of them. So that the table range is maintained. Mm -hmm. So press your F and okay. F4 to lock the, your D12, your D2 to D19, the other one in the other formula too. Do that and just press your control D. You have that? Do you have that? Hello, Ali. Is it my night talk? Let me go. Let's walk. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got that. What's up? Yeah, let's walk. Okay. So the last one, Grace Wally, I didn't get that. Grace Wally. So go back to your formula and make sure you log the correct cell. So let me zoom this out for you. So you see? So those table range, data D2 to D19. Make sure everything is logged. So we just want to keep that table shape constant. Then we just move the number. That's all we've done. Okay. What do I do? I've logged them. We've logged it. Okay. Log the second one, which is inside the match function. But don't log the first one, which is this cell that we want to move. Which one should I not know? So you have your match control C4. So don't yes. log that. Right? Don't log that. Leave it the way it okay. is. Then log the second data. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I've done that. Okay. So then just press Control D. Just copy it down. Control D. 
Just to give you, you grace. press enter before control G or not? No, press enter, enter, enter this is your formula normally. Okay. Then come down here, your lowest salary, and just press control. Just press control D. All right, this one is yes. Uh -huh. So control D will copy down. Yes, to copy down, to copy anything down, anything in your in your upper cell. If you copy it down. All right. Okay. All right. So we have that now, right? So you know we have the highest yes. paid person, the worst paid person as well. Yeah. So the next thing is let's take a look at is it possible for us to take a look at the trend and see this percentage? Let's see how that will work. Okay, so uh, let's create let's create one small chart. We want to create charts. So click on the first name. Okay. Click on the first name, then press your control button and click on the total percent salary. So the to first select name is the first name, I mean. Yeah, so to select two cells, to, uh, two columns. So just click from Bruce down to the there. Hold your control button with your left mouse. Then go to your salary percentage and highlight as well. Highlight two columns together. Do you have that? Okay. 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 Yeah. I have that. Okay. Hello? Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, I have that. Okay. So now go to your insert. Okay. Insert and click on recommended charts. Okay. Click on recommended charts. Exactly. You have that? Yes. Recommended charts, then click on all charts. Okay. And let's go to bar charts. I think bar charts will be we make sense. Go to bar charts. Okay. Click on bar charts and click yeah. OK. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Now press. So just leave it. Let's create another. Let's create another worksheet. And let's call it our output. So at least if you be this, we can stop here today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here, uh, let me remove the grid line. Remove the grid line. And I can go ahead. This chart, I'll just press Control X. Let me cut. Let me cut it, and let me paste it here. Wait, 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 slow down. <laughs> remove slow the down. grid line. All right, you've removed the grid line. The grid line is on view. Go to your view, then you see it under show. Remove uh -huh. grid line. You want to remove edits? You can remove edits. Yes, under show. Yeah, Just untick that grid line. Yeah. I'm coming here to copy. So just cut the chart. <laughs> it will be in your data. Go to your data. Okay. Data. I'll okay. do the chart in my data. Ah, okay. Chart has disappeared. So let's do it again. Uh, 
Okay, First name, control, left yeah. mouse, then select the total salary, percent of salary. Then, Go to your insert, recommend chart, charts. Then go to your all charts and select the bar charts. In charts. Your bar charts, bar charts, and, and click OK. Hello, good chat, Okay, I'm in the chat. Yeah, okay. All chat, bar chat. So recommended charts, all, all charts. Then go to your yeah. bar charts and click on OK. Then come to X. Then control X, cut it, then come to your output, yeah, yeah. and control V. Yeah. Yeah, I have it now. Okay, great. So now let's format this. Let's format it to kind of look good. Okay. Ah, their name is much. Okay, it's one, two, three, four. So it's, it's as even omitted some of their names. Okay. okay, so I think this should be so just highlight it down so that we can have all their names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We're supposed to have eighteen. Uh we're supposed to have eighteen. Yeah. We're counting. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah. right. So number one, I don't need this type to edit. You can delete it. Okay. Delete the title to edit. Uh, delete it. Then click on this line, this straight line. We don't need it. Delete it as well. Okay, delete it. Yes, this percentage, we don't need it. Delete it as well. Delete it. Okay. So click outside the cell. Okay. So there's a border around it. And I don't yeah. I don't want this border. So I can click, so click again. So uh, you notice something. When you click inside the normal Excel cell. Yeah. You see that your last tab. What's your own last tab? You know, I, it's, I'm showing two tabs now, so I can't really see. Okay, okay, okay. Really okay. It's really mine. okay, 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 all right, all right, all right. So click, so immediately you click on this chart. Every yeah. chart usually comes with their own template, with their own tab. Format. So click on format, format tab. Okay. Right, and uh, format so, that, so you see shapes, uh, shape, styles so formats click on the shape outline shapes yeah shape outline so yeah, click on the on shape, the outline. shape outline okay now I will, yes I have yeah, color shape I outline. Have yeah so select no outline more outline no, no outline yeah no outline no outline then click yeah, out please. then click out out of the shape click just click any okay. blank exam see that it has disappeared right yeah. Great. Yes. So this blue color it really does not make, but let's let's still leave the color like that. So uh, I want this to be a little bit. I want us to have the percentage. Check okay. it. I want us to have their percentage in front of it. So uh, select the box. Then you see one. There's will be one cross sign. Yes. Uh -huh. So click on that cross sign. It will bring out the chart elements. And, uh, and, element, and yes, tick the uh, data label. Label, yeah. Yes, tick the data label. So what do you have? Right. Percentage. Exactly. So remember, this is more like we're just building our uh, dashboard. Yeah, yeah. So from here, you can see the highest, the lowest. Exactly. So in fact, let me see. We should be able to uh, sort it. Uh, let me see. There we can yeah. be sorted. Let's see. Yeah, that's the phone here. So, Anna. I got so, the letter. You said? I said sort is there. Value okay. names.
Yeah, the third one, the corner, yes. So whichever criteria I want to use to sort. So uh this I'm not sure this can apply. Let's see. Select data. Supposed to be able to sort this out. Let me see. I'm actually not use this before, so let's let's leave that. We can we can always come back. So most time, what we usually do is uh, you create you can create you create another uh, chart here, which will be more like Syria to so just make it look good. But don't worry, we can we can do that those ones later. Now let's go straight to the second one. I want to see here. We want to see our total salary. Sure, you get. Yeah. But we want to be able to move this so. Uh, we are not going to use that. We go straight to my insert. Okay. Then I will click. So you have your illust tables, you have illustrations. Click on your shapes. And you take out the total salary that I use. Abby. Yes, yes. Just uh, delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Okay. So go to insert. Yes. Go to shapes. Table. Shapes. So um, you have your illustrations. So under illustration, you see, you have shapes. Okay, illustration shapes, yes. Yeah, so Just click on the shapes. shape and select your text box. Click on the shapes and select your text box. Text box, yes. Yeah, the, the one with A, yes. Text box, then just, yeah. just draw it in Excel. Okay. Uh, I have a box here. Uh -huh. So type inside that box, uh, total salary. Okay, total salary. So you can centralize uh, it. Done. Okay. Uh, then click outside it. Yeah, the shape is gone. So, uh -huh. so we don't want the shape. So remove the shape. So go to your shape format. Shape format and remove outline. So no outline. Go to your shape view. Hey, where, where, where? No view. view. Okay. So yeah. So immediately you click on that box. No, click on the box. Select that box where you type the total salary. Yeah, yeah select it. Then select shape format. Shape format where? So you know, remember every every uh box usually come with their own special. Uh, yes. tab. So immediately you click yes. on that total salary. You see that another additional tab will show up. Okay. As a shape format. Let me try that. So remember, first select. Shape yeah, I've seen it. Uh, uh, shape format. I've seen shape format. And so under shape style, go to your shape outline. Shape style. Shape outline. Yes. So oh, yeah. Select no outline. No outline, yes. Then click on your shape fill again and click no fill. Shape fill. No fill, yeah. Uh -huh. Select no fill so that it's look as if it's a normal text. All right. But remember it's, it's more like it's more like a chart, uh, a, a shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now let's go back again. Let's insert another shape. Also, text. So, select just select rectangle, rectangle this time. Okay. Select rectangle, and just draw it in your in your Excel. Okay. okay. You have that? Yeah. Okay. So. Now, what we want to do now is we want to link this our total salary. We want to link that to this shape. Okay. So to do that, select the shape, then go to your formula bar. Hold on. Please. Select the shape. 
Okay. Go to your formula bar. Okay. Type equal to. Formula bar, there's nothing here. Yeah, yes, just type equal to in your formula bar. Okay, equal to, yeah. Then go to your control worksheet and select that total salary. Control worksheet. Select total the 1.11 million okay. dollar yeah, and, press, and press your enter, enter yes I have it. then it show up in that shape right yeah and so you can centralize it centralize it you can change the so let's change the shape color so you can change the few from here uh, let's use something like ash ash color then the front to be white and can I make it bigger just to look good? Adjust okay. it to the shape. You have that? Coming. Yeah. Then you can now remove the outline. Let's remove the outline. So no outline. So that it kind of look good like this. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Okay. So uh let's let's stop here today so that you, know, you are not overloaded. <laughs> All right. Uh then we'll continue some other time. Uh we'll continue tomorrow. Uh -huh. So we can just save the exam yeah. file, then we'll continue from here to finish things up. Yeah, so maybe next Thank one. Thank you so much. We now go to uh, more like arithmetic, more arithmetic data of a thing. All right, that's fine. Um, Thank all you. Right, all right, man. Thank you, family. Do what you learn. What's the last one? I'm a level. All right, now. Yeah, thanks. Good night. Okay.